On the medical watch tonight, giving the body the tools to heal its own ACL. Medical reporter Dina Baer has more on a new fix for a common sports injury. It helps us pivot and move quickly from front to back. The anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is critical for stability. But about 400,000 athletes and weekend warriors tear the ligament each year. Now, there's a less invasive repair technique local doctors hope will be a game changer. I do track and golf for fun. She's a three-sport athlete, but basketball is Brooke Simpson's favorite. I just love how competitive it is, and I just love, like, you know, just, like, the athletic part of it. She plays for her high school and on a travel team during a game in April. Within, like, I think two minutes of the game, I hurt myself, so I went out. And then we got everything looked at, everything looked okay. And then I went back in the game because I was feeling okay. And then um, I just kind of like heard a pop. Me, you can see that the ACL is torn. It should be like a perfect straight line. This portion of the ACL is relatively okay up to here. Then you see the tear right there. Well, once I found out my ACL was torn, then we just kept researching because I just didn't feel like I wanted to have that much done to my knee. In a traditional procedure, doctors use a piece of patellar, quad, or hamstring tendon to reconstruct the ACL. And then you drill tunnels into here and a tunnel into the femur, and then you pass that graft, and then you fix it with screws or buttons. That's not how Dr. Jorge Chala fixed Brooke's knee. The ACL will be pushed by the sutures into the center of this implant. The Midwest Orthopedics at Rush Surgeon used this sponge. It's called the Bear Implant. It acts as a conduit to ultimately reconnect the two torn ends of the ACL before it eventually dissolves in the body. So we pass sutures through the ACL stump, then we pass those sutures through here, then the sutures go into the femur, and basically the ACL will regrow in between the proximal and distal stump. The ligament sits inside the knee, which means it's bathed in synovial fluid, a thick substance that helps the joint function smoothly. But the fluid also prevents blood from clotting. And after an injury, you need to clot so natural healing can begin. What this sponge does is basically isolates the ACL from the synovial fluid with her own blood. So it basically creates that scaffold that is not able to be created if you don't have that sponge. This way it's my natural anatomy, it's my knee, nothing's added or taken away from my knee. Again, so I want you to do that all day long now. As Brooke works on range of motion and slowly putting more weight on her leg, the 16-year-old has options to weigh. Um, I have 13 Division I offers for basketball. Um, they're all over the country. This is supposed to be a big year for recruiting for me and you know that kind of got put on hold but like I'm super grateful for all my offers so it's not it's not a rush. Dr. Chala has confidence in the young athlete the and the new procedure. We're hoping that she's going to be extremely successful in her sports career. Um, I'm feeling great. I mean this is like the best I think I could feel for a surgery like for your knee. Because the bear procedure is so new, Dr. Chala says long-term studies need to be done to determine how well the repair holds up against the more traditional reconstructive procedure. Back to you.